So it's Saturday morning and we just got to Black Sheep Cafe and we're here to do a kombucha making workshop which should be really fun and hopefully we can even get a scoby so that we can make kombucha at home. your two liters of brewed tea and sugar and then you've added your two liters of cold water you put your scoby in and then so in here you have like maybe three week old delicious tasting plain kombucha these ones i made for you guys were made with like a mixture of black oolong and martyr tea and they if you want to pass that around they've been brewed for like a little bit longer can you see how they're more sour so i got one of my big ugly scobies and i ripped it which is why it looks like it's something from like the medical history <laughs> <laughs> it's like so, i was just like oh my kitchen looks so weird um and then like that i did that like last week and you can see that it's already got like a real good milky layer which is your mm. new scoby the best thing, what the Scoobies really like, is like this super cheap white sugar. Mm. That's like their favorite, they love the junk food. Okay. <laughs> what I did with mine, because when I got them, they were like white sugar Scoobies. So every time I made them, I put in more brown sugar. So like over like five cycles, I like evolved them to feed off like whole brown sugar. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of like a pet. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I come home and I'm like, like checking on all of them. Yeah, and also, when you store it in the fridge, you can sometimes get a little scoby in the bottle, which is really funny if somebody's never had it before. We were at Berlin for a week, and this woman was like, took a sip of her kombucha and was like, <laughs> <laughs> like we like poisoned her. And it's like it's like literally like you're drinking like a mini mini scoby that's like this big and it's real slippery and it like goes down in the. Like, you killed me, but <laughs> that's really good. For you. Like pretty much medicine. Yeah, we can go try some now. You guys want to go into the front room? Yeah. So now you can just hold it for like 10 minutes. <laughs> oh my god, I just start doing like shoulder press. <laughs> like literally the best Saturday ever. We have two Scoobies and we're gonna go home and start brewing. The girls are so amazing there. It was really, really fun. She did like a full head turn. Really? Yeah. And then this guy just did too. <laughs> Everyone's like, what is she carrying? They don't know. It's a kombucha. She's got a smile. <laughs> So we just got back from Black Sheep Cafe and we made it with our kombucha scobies here. They got a little turned around on the walk home, but I think it's okay. I can't wait to start brewing with them tomorrow and see how it works. It's been like three years, I think, since Lou and I brewed kombucha in New York, so fingers crossed it all turns out. Um, I think Lou's already editing the footage, so we should go see how that's going. It looks so good. Yeah? Yeah, it's gonna be a really good one. It's 
gonna take like forever to edit. Yeah. I think I'll get started tomorrow. Good Maybe plan. We got some time lapses? I think we should. Yeah. Thank you.